So you've enjoyed using NetTracker for searching online safely with your students for all kinds of topics. But now what I'd like to do is point out something on the right side of the screen known as the features box. And you can see here in the features box, we've got timeline, famous person, image search, references, and teacher tools. Now, I'm only seeing teacher tools as will you. If you sign in, students won't have that section. But let's say that you're working as is common now, it seems, on a bio, bi, uh, biography. And we might want to click on the famous person link. Look at this famous person search. It's a lot better than simply typing in famous person in the search bar. We could type an actual name in this box here if a student had a person in mind. But so often, kids don't really know who they want to write about. So by giving us all of these options, for example, time period, gender, occupation or profession, ethnic and cultural heritage, the kids can really nail down a range or group of people that they're interested in. For example, one of the most common uh, choices of occupation and profession would be sports. So uh, we can see here, and I've got I've got athletes, and Let's pick male and female and see what we come up with. We're going to go with male and female athletes. And for our time period, well, most kids would probably like to uh, see names of people that they might be familiar with. So we'll click 20th and 21st centuries. But just for laughs, let's throw in uh, maybe something from the 19th century and see what happens. So we'll go 19, 20, and 21 for the centuries. And ethnic and cultural heritage, if I leave these blank, all of those choices could come up. So I'm not going to limit the uh, search by checking any of them. I'm going to leave them all blank. And once I've got those checkboxes, I'm going to click the search button. And I've got two pages of names. Check this out. I go from Hank Aaron at the beginning of the list to Christy Yamaguchi down at the end. So plenty of names that we're familiar with, plenty of men and women that we can uh, have the students choose from. So hopefully those 71 names will be uh, appropriate for your students if they're working on biographies and sports. Go back to that uh, famous person search if you need other people. If you have any other questions, please let me know. I'd be happy to help out.